So over here on the left side, you can see that I got three video clips. And if I were to, let's say, for example, double click on a video, you can see that this is the video that is being played out in the preview window. I can go around, click and drag this on my timeline right here and keep it over here. But once I do that, all of the um, uh, video clip just comes up uh, over here on the timeline. That is the entire video for this comes in. But let me just go around and delete this and go to the preview window. And let's say what I want is just a portion of the video right here. So let's say all I want is the video uh, from one second to two second right here. So in that case, I can keep my timeline cursor right, uh, cursor right here. And I can go around, click and drag around the end point to be uh, the starting point around the one second section right here, just like this. And let's say I want till the end of two seconds right here. So let's say until here. So I can go around and then uh, let's say, let me do just do three seconds over here. So I can go around and type in the exact value as well. Type in uh, three seconds and this is what you have. You can click and drag this around or you can press the O, button, o uh, key on your keyboard as well as you're selecting this. So I can be used to set out in point while O for the out point. Uh, out point and the, this particular selection of the clip um, actually is there so you can bring this in onto your timeline now and only that selected portion comes in directly as you can see so if i were to go around and then go to source you can see that in the selection point right here and you can go around and then uh change that around over here as well and then bring out another portion over here so you can go around again onto the source right here so I select in and out point and bring in another clip over here as well. So this is how you can bring in different parts of videos together and then work around with them as well instead of bringing the entire clip in the timeline and then working around with uh, them later on. So that is how you can set out in and out point inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.